In this video, I show you how to set any song as your ringtone on your iPhone. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. So the first thing you need to do is actually go and download GarageBand onto your phone. Now, if you've seen any of the other guides, things get really complicated with GarageBand, but don't worry, this is one of the simplest guides on YouTube. So if you haven't already got GarageBand, then go and open up the App Store and go and download it. It's completely free and then go and open it up. When you first go and open up GarageBand, it's going to go sort of give you through an intro and you'll need to make sure you allow access uh, for GarageBand to access your microphone. But once you've gone and sort of press next a few times, you're going to be on this page here. So make sure tracks is selected. And then what you need to do is swipe across until you can go and see the option for voice recorder. As you can see here, it is audio recorder. My apologies. So then what you want to do is just go and tap on it just like so and wait for it to load. So what we're actually gonna go and do is we're gonna use the microphone on our phone to then go and record the song we'd like from another device. So if you've got a computer, another phone, you can borrow somebody's device or just anything which outputs sound, we can then go and record that into GarageBand and then go and use it as a ringtone. So all you want to do is go and Follow these instructions here. It says point your phone uh, towards the sound you want to go and record and tap the record button above to begin. So go and tap OK, just like so. Make sure clean is selected. And what you want to do is just to the right of that red circle at the top, we've got this sort of button called metronome. Make sure you disable that, otherwise it's gonna have this annoying clicking sound. And just before we tap record, I recommend making uh, the length we can record a bit longer as by default, I think it's around eight to 10 seconds. To do that, to make it longer, go and press on the plus button on the right hand side, just like so and you want to go and press on section A and go and just make it manual and we'll go and put it to 30 seconds. So I'll just tap up just like so. Um, and yeah, pretty much each bar is around 30 seconds and that's perfect. And now we're all ready to do the recording. And what's really important is, is you minimize all background noise. So if you've got a fan on or a loud computer, just move it out of the room and just make sure there's very little background noise because that will be picked up. And I recommend making sure your phone's angled right at the speaker. And then you want to go and play, um, press record and start playing the song at the exact same time. And the record button is at the top of your screen and also just to the right of the record button we've got this metronome button tap on it so it goes gray it's originally blue make sure it's gray otherwise you've got this annoying clicking sound so make sure you go and disable that so i'm going to go and start the song and the recording at the exact same time or try to and there we go i've just gone and recorded the song i wanted for about 30 seconds and i can play it by pressing on the play button just like so here and it's going to start playing and stop it i'll press the stop button and so the next thing we need to do is go and save this song and then we can use it as a ringtone so to go and save it what you need to do is go and tap on the downwards arrow in the top left just like so and then go and tap on my songs and it's going to go and say saving so at the moment i'm on my song three as you can see it's sort of loading um, and i've actually tested this before which is why the others are there however if this is the first time you're doing it it's likely that you're going to have one here which is called my song um, but yeah i'm on my, my song three then what you want to do is go and hold your finger on the song just like so and then you need to go and tap on share just like so and then we've got these three options and as you can see we've got this option for ringtone so go and tap on ringtone just like so and then we can actually go and save it as this as you can see it needs to be um 30 seconds or less that's fine just press continue it's just going to make it a bit shorter and then we can go and name this so i'm going to go and name this uh, custom ringtone or you know something like that it can literally be anything and then go and press export just like so and then it's going to take a moment to go and export it as a ringtone and once it's finished you can go and close off of GarageBand and also if you want to go and make another one like another um, song all you need to do is go and press this plus button in the top right and then you can go and repeat this and you can do it for another ringtone as well and then go and tap on the arrow in the top left and press on my songs and then we're going to be on my song 4 as I just created it but now let's come and close off of GarageBand so once you've closed off of GarageBand, we can now go and actually set um, the song we just made as our ringtone. So go and open up your settings just like so. Go to sounds and haptics and then go and into sounds and haptic patterns and we can go and press on ringtone. Then as you can see at the top, we've got custom ringtone and my song test. I named mine custom ringtone and the my song test one was a test I did before. So I can now go and tap on that. And that's now going to be my ringtone and it sounds really great. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.